Hi, welcome to the walkthrough of RPA Genie. In this walkthrough, we will learn about the Excel activities under the App Integration section. So for this walkthrough, I had previously created uh, an Excel file named Test Excel. Now, this Excel file holds the data of 50 different uh, cryptocurrencies such as uh, name, price and market price and all that. So now what we'll do is using the read range activity, we will read the data from this Excel file and uh, we'll see it in our preview data table activity. Uh, okay. And then we will, what we'll do is using the read cell activity, we'll read uh, the value of a particular cell. All right. So, okay. Now we'll move to studio, close this file, move to studio. We'll drag and drop the open Excel application activity. Now here in the input, input section, we need to provide the workbook path. So we'll select this down arrow, click on the local file explorer option, click on the test Excel. This is the uh, file uh, that which I had created earlier. So click on open and the path will be generated. Now these, uh, uh, these options that we see here are optional. So we don't need any of this right now, it's fine. So the output of this activity is on the workbook window format and it will be assigned to this variable called var workbook window. This is used as a, used as a reference for the next uh, Excel activities. Since we'll be uh, working on this same uh, file, then we need a reference. So that is var workbook window. Now we'll uh, see how for the next activities that we use, it'll be used as input. So here we'll use the read range activity. So the read range activity, uh, in, the value of a range of cells in an Excel file is read and stored in the data table variable. All right. So here in the input section, you can see this is var workbook window. This is the output var workbook window here in the previous activity. All right. Now we need to specify the range. So suppose in this Excel file, we want from A1 to G7, then we can specify it as A1 to G7. But here, since we want the entire table starting from A1, we can just type in A1 and it will start reading from A1 till uh, wherever the data is there, which uh, till uh, the last cell, it will uh, read it till there. So we can just specify A1. Now we will check the include header options. Now the output will be stored in a data table format which will be assigned to this variable called var result. So this is a data table and the entire table will be stored in var result. All right. Okay. So we will see that data table in a preview data table activity. So if we just have to, this is a var result will be shown. All right. So we we'll can't save all, close this and run the sequence. Here you can see, um, first it has opened this Excel file. Then next it read the data and the output, which is a data table was assigned to var result. And it then previewed the data table. So here you can see the preview data table. So the entire, so whatever is there in this Excel file is being displayed in this data, uh, preview data table activity. So 50 of them and its details. All right. So that's uh, about the read range activity. Next, we'll see how the read cell activity works. So we'll drag and drop the read cell activity. The read cell activity, the, okay, in a value in the Excel cell is stored in a variable. So here, let's say we want to read the value in J7. So if we want to read this uh, value in J7, it's written hello world. So we uh, we will read J7. So here, what we'll do is in the cell, type in J7. Now the output would be in the uh, system dot object format, which will be assigned to var result one. So we can see that in a message box. So we'll drag and drop a message box and type in var result one. So let's click on save or and run the sequence again. So 
So first, uh, it opened the Excel file and it read the data, and we can see that in this uh, uh, data table preview uh, window. So we'll close this. Here, now, here in J7, we can see it has read that cell, uh, J7, this is Hello World. So let's click on OK. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.